for you to take somebody's money in advance without any interest back for that person. In fact, for me, I will see it as a crime. So it is very good that it's a welcome development. I appreciate that. Only if Nigerian government can um, implement that successfully. Rent aid take a large chunk of people's income. So, for example, someone who is earning maybe like 1.5 million in a year, and a whole lot of maybe 700,000 is going in rentage. So, if a, 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 a tenant can have some rice pipe, you know, in terms of how much they dish out to the rent, they will be able to use the part of the money to do some things that are equally very compelling, you know, to the survival of the family. A bill seeking to regulate the mode of payment of rent on residential apartments, office spaces in Nigeria's federal capital may be dead on arrival. This is because most of the houses are built by private individuals and not government. Some landlords who choose to be anonymous have argued that the bill, if passed into law, will make things difficult as most of them took loans to build their properties. They also added that the price of building materials in the markets has consistently been on the increase, with the government helpless in stopping the price hikes. Is it the same house I built with a loan that the government is telling me how to collect my rent? They should go and regulate the price of building materials in the markets. Well, if they do that, it is the tenant that still suffers more. On Wednesday, 2nd of February 2022, the Senate passed for a second reading of a bill to stop all landlords in the Federal Capital Territory from collecting yearly rent payments from tenants. The bill, sponsored by Senator Smart Adeyemi, representing Kogi West Senatorial District, is aimed at putting an end to the yearly payment of rents. The senator believes that this move will ease the lives of tenants and free up money for them to use for other things. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, permit me to lead the debate on the general principles of the bill for an act to regulate the mode of payment of rent on residential apartments, office space, rooms, and accommodation in the federal capital territory. Mr. President, this bill also seeks to provide a window of legal action for any form of oppression and, of course, a safety net for landlords against any tenants. Distinguished colleagues, this particular bill, Mr. President, is targeted at making life more meaningful for the people who voted all of us into office as lawmakers. The bill got support from some lawmakers who stated that it is unfair to ask tenants in the FCT who receive meager salaries to now pay rent annually. They are also firm on their belief that the current system will only serve to encourage corruption and other illegal activities in the society. Those who are homeowners, there is no use somebody struggle to pay you the first one and subsequently you are dragging almost every day. If there is a good system as this, we are on a monthly basis, as the man receives his salary, he's making payment for what he has consumed. I think it will be a very good system. It will be a welfare-oriented system, one that is friendly to those who do not have. And some of them, even if you take their three years salary, they cannot pay the money required for advance payment. And because of that, I believe the best way to treat the people the is to ask them to pay monthly. Even the because best even in advanced countries, countries no salaries, I mean, uh, rents are paid monthly, the not in advance. The, the system that we operate today encourages corruption in the service. And if this Senate can take an action that will find or give no justification for public servants and civil servants to get engaged in corruption, then we will have the moral authority to come so hard on corrupt officials. But where we operate a system that makes it impossible for people to survive under an ideal situation, I think we have not utilized the provision of this constitution as provided by the framers of our constitution. But not everyone is in support of this rather controversial bill. Senator Chimaroke Namani, representing Enugu East, opposes it. He says the issue of rental payments should be driven by market forces. The issue of uh, rental payments, either in advance, either in installment, is purely economical. 
it should be driven by market forces. Such market forces as availability of land, cost of building materials, income. If government wants to ameliorate the suffering of the masses, government can go into housing schemes, mortgage schemes, housing credit facilities, not control the business of private individuals in an emerging African democracy. I therefore oppose and oppose vigorously this bill. Thank you. Nigeria's capital city is one of the most expensive cities in the world. A government worker on minimum wage cannot afford rent anywhere near the city center. The worker will have to go into the outskirts of Abuja to get a house. As Nigerians continue to grow over high rent costs, most especially in Lagos and Abuja, the Root TV team took to the streets for Abuja residents to have their say. The thing is that Abuja is a very expensive place to stay, especially when it comes to in terms of accommodation. If for a number of years now I've been paying my yearly rent as I'd went to, if they reduce it to monthly payment, I think that is a very nice, uh, a welcome development too. So it eases my stress. I think even last year, as I last year, I had that issue. Uh, if not for the fact that it was because of its one year duration, if it were to be one month, I don't think the landlord would have been patient with me to wait for me to be able to get money for me to pay the rent. So I, it was because of it was the duration of one year, the payment of one year, that I was able to you know, find time, do some chores and then I mean some work or some other hustle and get money for, the, my, for my rent. If you look at the situation of the country, you see some landlords that are very, they are, they are very in, inhuman. Can say that because it's not everybody that works and collects a paid salary or collect or or works that are being in monthly salary. You understand? Some of you are artisans, the handwork uh, workers. So I think if the Senate can go a bit, maybe pay as you go, or maybe a six month rent or three month rent, I think it's a good one, and I commend the Senate for that. Sometimes putting this money together. You see someone working and uh, the whole of the year, maybe in six months or three months time, all is thinking on how to, how, is how to pay the rent. But if, but if there's a law in place now that at least I know I can pay my rent in three months time, I can pay my rent in six months time, without no landlord will demand one year rent from me, I think it's, I think it's a good one. Can this bill be now read the second time, say aye? Aye. And do they say nay? Aye. The eyes have it.